miss my friends, yeah. I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. And I ain't got no love. Welcome everybody to the first episode of Kelvin's Headspace. I have, um, I spent the last 30 minutes trying to get the settings right because I got this thing about mouth noises and the, it's just, I was, I'm trying to avoid them and it's kind of putting me off at the same time, but it's just, I think it's just part of the game. So sorry if there's mouth noises, but <laughs> it's just something I'm like self-conscious about. But I'm just going to do my best. And if I'm going to emphasize words and there's mouth noises, then that's, good. that's what needs to be done. So um, first things first, we'll talk about the uh, the intro song, which is my song, because I'm... Um, I have been copyrighted before for using other music and I thought, you know, considering it's my podcast now, I will choose my my own song. So that's Quarantine. Um, and I just pitched it up because what I actually like to do and I think what my favourite thing to do when recording or working on music is for all the FL Studio people out there, which is the software I use, there's a plugin called Gross Beat and basically you can one of the functions is you can pitch the whatever, like the song or audio up or down a few octaves. So I just like to mess around with that when I'm mixing and listening. Cause I, I just think it sounds cool and it actually helps when I'm working on a song and I change the pitch just to hear how it's sounding on a different kind of octave or key. So I just thought I'd do it, do that for the intro. Cause it's something different to hear. But the real, the real, um, the real heat is at the end of the podcast, where I've pitched it down and it just sounds, it just sounds good. So, if you make it to the end of the podcast, you will be rewarded with some really deep vocals of mine from quarantine. So that's the intro done. Um, we'll talk about the name of the podcast. Um, so Calvin's headspace, a couple of threes in there, which is all always good or always have to add the three, but, um, I was thinking of like Calvin's world, but that's pretty common. And I guess headspace is common, but for me, because I use headspace for meditating, it kind of fitted, it fitted, it, it fit well with what I, what I'm looking to do, which is basically talk about, you know, mental health, what's, what's going on with me, music, whatever, whatever's kind of on my mind or, or I want to talk about. So that's how I landed on that name. A couple of emojis there, which is always, always the thing to do these days. Um, so, um, I've already got like five, I think it's five, six episodes up already, which is like, it starts at negative five and then ends on zero. And those are just the audiograms that I recorded and put on Instagram to start with. Um, so they're kind of like the, the pilot episodes, I guess, even though what I'm doing now is the exact same thing, but I've got a website um, and like a podcast host. So it's, it's on all like the podcast streaming things. So seems more legit and it feels more legitimate now, I guess, that I've got it on there. And, it, and it's more accessible too. So I think it's just a better way um, of doing it. So um, enjoy the the podcasting. Um, so I was listening to like the first, what, five or six episodes and because I needed to write descriptions for each episode and I found a common theme was like, we've gone into lockdown, then we've come out of lockdown and then we're back into lockdown so 
and, and, and this has just been like over the last two months or so. So really it's been a pretty full on time. And, um, my friend Kieran posted, he's like the COVID God. He just posts COVID stuff and like case numbers and, um, he, but, and also good COVID stuff too, like updated news, like when they, like today where they changed the AZ timeframe from 12 weeks to six weeks. I didn't know about that. So I quickly changed my appointment so I can get fully vaccinated sooner. So that was, that was some good gems he's dropping. But, um, there was one post, I think it was linked to a psychologist and it was saying, um, talking about lockdown fatigue. And I think it said something like, yeah, it hits me hardest on the Sunday and the Monday. And I was finding this week, I've pretty much been fatigued like all week. Just, you know, that lockdown feeling where you just like, it's groundhog day and you're just like doing the same thing over and over in your, in your house and you just don't see the end of it and it just wears you out. So I just found that it made me feel better um, reading that. Cause I'm like, Oh, even though I know what I'm feeling is normal during this crazy time, but just to see like, and read like, oh yeah, other people are going through it. And remembering that other people are going through it was was a good feeling. So keep doing the posts. It's good stuff, Kieran. Shout out to Kieran. All right, now just sipping on green tea once again. I really hope the recording is uh is working well. <laughs> um uh yeah, well, I'm talking like off the axis of the microphone to avoid the mouth noises. So hopefully it works. Um, probably won't play it back because I'll get too much anxiety thinking about it, but, um, we'll go into the, the photo that I've chosen for. It's like across my social media at the moment, but it actually helped me like go ahead with this whole serious air quotes podcasting. Um, because I didn't really have any good quality photos and I'm not really good at designing or I've just got no idea. I know there's like a like Lightroom where you edit, but I don't have any actual like good proper photos. So the photo that I chose is actually from my brother's wedding, which was at the end of last year. Um, So I spoke to my brother's wife and she kindly sent me those photos and they're taken by obviously the wedding photographer. So they're really good quality. And now that I've updated the photo, it actually, actually looked like legitimate and it gave me, it spurred me on because last Friday I was like looking into how to get a podcast going and it was all overwhelming and I had this really bad picture that I like, I just put up myself, but I don't know how to edit. So it was bad. It was a bad photo, but I was just like, I'm just going to chuck it up there And it just made, and I was just like, oh, this is, I can't do it. I'm just going to stick to music strictly. There's no, there's not going to be a podcast. But then (laughs) the next day when I was thinking about it, I'm like, oh yeah, I actually do want to do this. Um, And then getting that photo and having it on there made me feel better and more like professional. So that really helped me out a lot. But um, I want to talk about more, the the way that I've kind of cropped the photo because like it's it's for my social media and it's me so you would think that I would maybe choose like crop out my brother who's in the photo um on the right hand side and because you know it's my it's my thing and normally if you're like most pictures I see of artists or whoever They've just got photos of themselves. But when I went to crop him out, <laughs> I I was kind of thinking about our, our relationship and what my brother means to me. Um, and it actually helped me decide to keep him in because that's kind of what he is like to me in my life. He's kind of like, he's such a, great role model um 
he's always like challenging himself to be better. I've kind of followed his footsteps in a lot of different things like, you know, psychology and um, the way I structure my life with tasks and he just gives good advice and sometimes he, I think he, he's so like, he thinks about like improving himself so much and helping other people and all this stuff that he can like get burnt out because he's so like selfless in that way. But um, for me, like I definitely wouldn't be in the position in my life, which is a good position without him. So um, it's kind of like I got to a point in my life where I was kind of, you know, he was inspiring me and being a role model and I was doing a lot of the things he would he was doing. But then it kind of got to a stage where I had to like forge my own path. Um, so an example of that was like, for example, uh, he, I think at one stage would like call my parents on like a Friday, like every Friday, um, once a week. So I was like, ah, oh, um, well, I better do that because he's doing it. Um, so I tried to do it for a little bit, but, um, I just found it like it wasn't working for me. Like, um, I prefer to see them in person when, when I can. And I just realized like, it's a great example of what he's doing and it's inspiring, but I need to be my own person. And he's guided me all this way and he still is guiding me to this day, but I need to kind of break away and be my own person and do what works for me. And so now as I sit here, I've, I feel like confident in the person who I've become. He's still there for me and will always still kind of be like the guiding light in my life and always push me to be better and that type of thing. So that photo is just representative of that. It's like, it's my time, but he's still there with me. Um, So it was pretty deep about a photo, but yeah, that's just kind of, that's my headspace. That's Calvin's headspace about the photo. Um, so I also wanted to talk about, uh, what I learned from releasing my first two tracks. So quarantine and the quarantine remix. So just an update on the streams. So Quarantine's up to about 260 streams. And then the remix is sitting at about like 33 or something. So firstly, thanks to everyone who's listened to it either once or repeatedly. I know there's a few out there who are, I think they're trying to listen to it daily a few times a day to to get the numbers up. But also some people actually just like it that much that they're, they're banging it. They're banging it hard and it's really good. And people just sending like videos of them banging the song and just like laughing about the lyrics and all that kind of stuff. It's like the best. It's, it's why, it's why I put out the songs in the first place. Um, and it was actually a really good learning curve, um, for me. I think the first, the first lesson I learned was it's, it's really easy to, to do something like this. It's more the thought of like, oh, I'm going to put my music out there. But once I did it, I was like, ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Like it's out there. It's even though I can imagine people and my friends and stuff listening to it, it actually, it's, it's like, it's different to playing it in, in front of people um, where you can kind of see their reaction where here it's like, it's out there and I don't know when you listen to it or if you listen to it or if you like it or if you hate it, it's just, it's out there. So it's kind of, it's just relieving um, in a way. And it's, and it's a good feeling when you like accomplish something like this. Um, The other thing I learned was you really have to market or like work on marketing um, a lot just to get the streams and, to get the awareness and you really have to have like all your 
social media and all that stuff um, in order and organized um, and have a plan. Um, so I think for like my next song, I'll, I'll have the release date like a bit further ahead and like I'll try to market it better and like have everything ready. Like things like um, the lyrics on Instagram, because I dropped the songs so fast, um, Instagram was still catching up with the lyrics and people were like, I tried to find the song on Instagram so I can like do a story and, <laughs> and post it, but it's not there. And now I'm annoyed. <laughs> not actually annoyed, but like, so that type of thing, just those things to be aware of. So yeah, just, um, not rushing it, taking your time. Um, again, I explained why I, I did what I did, what I did and I'm glad I did it. Cause now it's kind of like, it was a good test run and I got to test out the streaming service and all that kind of thing. So it's been, it's been, it's been a good lesson. Um, Oh, I'm really running out of breath here. The other thing is, um, like how can I measure my success with what I'm doing? Because like streams, streams and likes and comments and engagement and stuff. I don't think it's a good way for me to measure success. Cause I think a lot of that can be achieved through like firstly money. Um, like I, I think I dropped like 20 bucks just on like a random, like Instagram ad to promote it just to see what would happen. And it definitely works. Like it gets it out there. Um, but it's, you know, it's not something I really want to be dropping money on and being like, oh, if I get X amount of streams, it means it was a good song or what have you. Um, so I think for me to measure this success is just, I think if I'm learning, if I'm making mistakes, learning from the mistakes and I just keep pushing forward and getting better. And at the same time, the most important thing for me is to enjoy it because when I used to play guitar, I burnt myself out and I don't play anymore because I was too focused on trying to learn like scales and technique and stuff that is actually very useful, but I forgot to just take a moment to, you know, learn some songs and just have fun. So as long as I keep that at the back of my mind, have fun, keep making music, enjoy myself, then the rest of the things like marketing and streams and stuff, I think they'll just kind of fall into place as I learn about it more and get better and, you know, all, uh, apply all those kind of things. Cause at the end of the day, it's just a, it's just a big project for me on the side and it's kind of like a never ending thing. Um, which I think is going to help carry into my like work life, for example. Um, because for me, like I'm not doing my dream job and I'm not like, this is the greatest job ever, um, type of situation. So, um, it has its positives, but it doesn't give me that like satisfaction that, I guess people that are doing stuff they truly love or they truly enjoy, um, get. So I guess I'm trying to find, you know, things outside of work, which will give me that satisfaction, which I'm hoping this type of stuff, which I am obviously doing it cause I like it. Otherwise, why would I be sitting here doing this? Um, I think that's what it, it'll be able to give me, um, so I guess my last point about that is ultimately I think good work gets recognized, which I've found. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm jumping over the place. <laughs> my point was if I get good habits in terms of like, you know, making good quality music and working on podcasting and, getting better at marketing and taking photos and all that type of stuff and being consistent and building that habit. 
then that will ultimately benefit my work life because it's like developing a reflex where you're working hard outside of work on like a passion. So you develop all these good habits just kind of naturally through that. And then that, I think momentum and habit feeds into your work life. And it kind of, that's how I see it helping me um, with a job that's not my dream job, um, if that makes sense. Um, so before I went back on the tangent, I think with anything, what I've learned through work and in my life to date is that good quality, whether it's work or music, whatever, um, if you put your best effort in with anything, um, and you deliver good quality, even if you're not, you know, marketing yourself or trying to put yourself out there, people will recognize you. And that's what I think I'm hoping will happen for me. Um, that I just put out the, put out some good stuff, make it high quality, and then the rest will fall into place. And I'll gather momentum through, you know, followers and hopefully, you know, as I improve my skills, it'll just continue to grow and build. And if I think that takes a lot of the pressure off trying to build a following or be successful in what I'm doing, I kind of feel like I've been talking, I'm talking in circles here in a way, or like contradicting my last point, but whatever, we're just, we're doing it off the cuff. We're doing it live, so it doesn't matter. Um, so to wrap it up, um, the way I'm going to be doing content, which is which is going to be interesting, I think, is I've got about, say, like three, I think about three podcasts that I could do um, of content remaining. Um, now, I'm sure, like, over the next few weeks it'll... I'll, I'll, I'll think of more content for podcasts, but say if I run out of podcast material, then I've also got things, um, where I'll be putting that on my, like, I'm, I'll be creating a TikTok and doing like, you know, short videos about, um, you know, like certain songs that have like way back in the day that have inspired like one section of my new song or like a song that I've made and just different ideas like, showing my workflow and um, showing my equipment and just doing little short videos. So there's that side of the content that I want to do as well. And then, you know, if I'm finished with that, um, I've got like a million different music, like as in tracks to work on. So I think the good thing is if I, if I ran out of like podcast or this other content, um, I'll still be chipping away at the music in the background. Um, so I think the good thing is I've got all this stuff that I can do and it's just continually building skills and enjoying what I'm doing. Um, and lost my train of thought again. So like I might, yeah, that's sorry. Um, so I'll be like, maybe I'll drop a few podcast episodes and there'll be a break for a while and then I'll come back and I might drop a song and that type of thing. So there's no kind of time frame for the content that's coming out. So just prepare for the unexpected, really. And that's it for today. Um, I feel like I was going off. I was going all over the place. I got the red lights going on in the room. Maybe I need to change the color from red because it's just, I'm losing my mind. It's locked down. But we got the outro song that's about to hit. So just get ready. And if, if you don't have it plugged into some headphones or some like sound bar or anything, just, just plug it in because you just want to hear that deep voice on the outro and I'll catch you on the next one. Bow. I miss my friends. Yeah. I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. Now I miss my friends. And I ain't got no life This is quarantine And I ain't got no life